I don't know. We're going to blame the Americans? Yes, yes, we are going to blame the Americans. You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. Um, Nimbus likes to go against the Americans. Not me, not me. I'm innocent. No, I'm just Please saying, don't I'm, attack I'm, me. Just, it's all in Nimbus, you know? <laughs> just every every old and beautiful episode I've ever watched, they never lock their doors. That's it. Bold and the beautiful. Let's blame Bold and the beautiful. <laughs> Let's blame that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a good show, the okay? It, they just never lock their doors. The host of influence. Because it's the a show. The host of influence, more commonly referred to as the host, has its name derived from a host who invites guests to an event. Not to be confused with a host, a harborer of parasites or disease. Okay. The host is a semi-humanoid looking organism. It has the structure of a head, torso, and arms. Other than this, it shares no other characteristics. The lower half of the host is comprised of a mass of fibrous tissue and tendrils that burrow into the ground to hold the host in place. Instead of skin, the host is covered in muscular tissue fibers, tendons, and veins. Oh, lovely. In some parts of the body are covered in a meaty plate used to cover any large exposed areas. I would still eat it. Movement. Why? Mm. The host's head has a smooth surface where the face should be, attached this? to a crooked oh, neck, which houses is. a slit in the front used for feeding. Ah, all of these images the are funny. Back is a mound of pores. Protruding from these pores are a hollow, hair-like structures, extending outwards. These hairs are barrels that release spores produced within host's body, by being fired into the air. These spores are hazardous, so keep clear of them at all costs. Yeah, I'd assume so. Okay. Luckily, the host is rare, only found in North America. Oh, fantastic. We're fine. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. very risky and daunting task. This is because of their rarity and of how dangerous it is to be up close to one. The sores released by a Maybe the cameraman will want to get close. Let me just take a, a picture of this a cloud infected. Of spores into the air which will be picked up yeah. by wind and carried great distances. If an oh organism God, inhales the spores, the particles will find their way into the organism's brain and infect them. An infected organism will show no symptoms of infection right away, but a couple hours after infection the infected organism's behavior and thought process will change. The first symptoms that appear are restlessness, sluggish movement, numbness of joints, and oh. lack of coordination. Then more serious Is this symptoms you? appear over I mean, time. When These I wake up. Dizziness, migraines, oh, impaired speech, Bro and trembles. Oh, if that's you me. or someone you know show these symptoms, contact poison control or emergency services. At least I can kind of be healed. After a total of six that's to good. seven hours after infection, the organism will cease all activities they were previously doing and begin to walk. The direction the infected will walk is towards the host whose spores have been inhaled by the infected individual. If the infected it's, makes it's their okay. way to the host, they will kneel down in front of it, or is expose it? their vital organs, oh, and the host will promptly no. gut and remove those organs. Oh. The host Tasty. will consume them and discard the leftover scraps. However, right. if hey, an buffet. infected organism hey, doesn't reach the host within a 36-hour span or is treated for their infection, the effects will wear off and return back to normal. If a host is unable to find prey or doesn't like its current location, it will unroot itself and move to a new location. <laughs> nope. Leaves. Stop up and leaves. They're scarce not <laughs> Basically, <than> right? <laughs> round one makes getting info about the host very daunting. Oh, all you damn. need to currently know is that the host is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. That's Pretty much. okay. It's only in America, isn't Next, it? The monoliths. Yeah, North America. Oh, so, yeah, so, so South America is safe. Yeah, no. I mean, Basically USA. Yeah, no. Rip us. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Nah, that's their problem. It won't screw you. So then, what do you think about them? Well, since... That was more short. Sheesh. Well, I mean, it, it's pretty simple, right? Like, they have poisonous fumes that infect people, and then they kind of go, oh, this is a good idea, and then they get gutted. And that's fantastic, but, like, we don't have to worry about it, so I think it's okay. <laughs> of course, we don't have to worry about it. Like, it's only in, like, one part of the world. Like, it's fine, really. Just don't live there. I guess. Ah, uh, yes, easy. Don't live. 
just fine. It's fine. It's not as bad as L like plus the mimic. Bozo, dude. L plus Bozo plus Ratio plus decided to live near a was born near a freaking you know host and a mimic. Well, mimics are and everywhere. a harvester at the same time. Dear God. Okay, let's go to this little guy. These little fellows. Oh my God. Menu logs delivering hungry yes, I also want to eat them. I do want to eat and this, actually. 